Hi, and welcome back to Ms. Gimbel's classroom. Today, I wanna to show you one way that I use Google Jamboard to help engage my students. There are several ways I use this tool, but today I'm gonna show you how to do a mix and match activity using Jamboard. Google Jamboard is super easy to use. All you need is a Google account and go to jamboard.google.com. To create a new Jamboard, you click this plus button in the right-hand corner. The Jamboard that I did was a Jamboard using vocabulary definitions. Now, what I like about this is I get put the students into breakout rooms. So students are in a room with three to four other students. I give the shareable link to each of the breakout rooms, but what I do is I create one slide and I duplicate it to however many rooms I'm gonna have. I assign each breakout room a slide. In each breakout room, I also assign one presenter who is gonna share their screen so all the students will work together. In this activity, the students are matching definitions with words and images. So for example, a line segment would line up with the image of a line segment and then with the definition of a line segment, which is this one right here. Students can drag and drop each of the words, the images, and the sticky notes in order to match up the correct activities. Now, what I like about this is that as students are working, I can't be in every breakout room online, but I can monitor all of the work because I can see which students are on which slides. Their names will pop up at the top of the slides that they're on. I can also go through in real time, give some feedback to the students as they're working on it. As you see, I had dragged some of the stickies over to the check these columns to help the students think about their answers. In this way, Google allows you to create a super easy technique to create a lot of mix and match activities that's great for your students. One more example, which I will open up right now, if you wait with me, that I used this for was for geometry proofs. I did exactly the same thing where I cut up a group of proofs and as it's loading, I had the students mix and match. At the top of the page, you will see once it loads, what the students were trying to prove and underneath they dragged the statements and the reasons in order to put them in the right slots. In this activity I actually gave each student their own Jamboard with different proofs to work on. However, you could also do a similar and have the groups of students work on the same Jamboard. I hope this video was helpful and you can use this tool in your online classroom. Thanks for listening.